Hey, it's me, Simbako, and I'm really happy to see you in another devlog of SCP Phoenix. First, I would like to thank you a lot for the incredible feedback to the previous devlog. Um, for all advices, help offers, or basically approvals, or just other supportive comments, it means a lot for me, and it's, I'm really happy to see that uh, in the comment section. Uh, but okay, um, anyway, I won't extend it unnecessarily, so uh, yeah, let's begin. I'm going to be honest with you. For the last two months, it was hard for me to find time for development of SCP Phoenix. New school, um, some other smaller projects that I'm currently working on, and uh, basically a lot of things on my head. Um, and yeah, this is why it was so silent on the Discord server. Uh, but yeah, despite that, there is still a couple of things that we want to show to you. Enjoy! Since February, we're continually um, trying to improve our walking system. At first, we were using basic animations from Unreal Engine 4, but quickly we have changed that to simple, but custom animations. Meanwhile, we changed the visibility of our character. From then, the only visible part of the main character were his hands. But some time ago, we have changed that again, and now we can see Nathan in all his glory. The walking animations also have changed. Now they're different depending on which direction player moves, and if he's walking or running. I'm sure that we'll change some stuff here, but I'm quite satisfied with uh, what I see, and I think that this is something that we're going for with the final look. Again, in February, when we have shown you the light containment zone, you were able to see a hand icon attached to the interactable objects. After a long reflection, uh, we have decided to remove it, and currently we're trying to find some replacement. Try with outlining an interactable object soon, um, and yeah, when we will finally have some results, um, we're going to share with them on our Discord server, which you can find in the first link in the description. So, with the mentioned interactions, I would like to say a bit about the most common interaction uh, that you'll come across in our game. I would like to talk about doors. In February, there was this awful model, and uh, yeah, we got rid of it. Uh, now we have brand new model that's similar to that from uh, Containment Bridge. Let us know which one you like more and what we can uh, improve or change in this matter. Okay, actually, since I started working on this project, um, and that is January 1st, 2021, um, I was thinking about um, character models. And the beginning of the development, when we were planning the whole thing and spending most of the time on uh, pre-production, we have worked, or at least we plan to, work in Unity. We were trying with Blender add-ons and some really weird uh, programs. Well, it looked bad, and we knew that we can do better than that, so uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Epic Games announced its meta-human creator. Making super realistic characters in the blink of an eye is quite um, tempting, right? It was one of the few reasons to change from Unity to Unreal Engine. 
um, after initial enthusiasm, we collided with reality. Uh, for such a newbie game dev as me or Chihe, uh, it was extremely hard to understand this vastness of information that were necessary to work with Meta, Human and Unreal. Despite that, we tried our hand with this program. We worked with it um, for the next few months, in which we have noticed, in our opinion, um, a lot of flaws, uh, problems and limitations of MetaHuman. We've started looking for another alternative and after a long time we did it. Character Creator. The Illusions program brings with it great opportunities even though most of the features are behind huge huge paywall. Still, using only free tools, except the program itself, um, we achieved and we're still achieving really satisfying results. For example, the work with Character Creator has resulted in these D-Class models. In my opinion, they look pretty neat. Remember that I'm still learning handling this program and uh, if you have any advice on how I can change these models, let me know. The personnel of the foundation is one of the most important things in our game. Um, and yeah, that's why we are working on their appearance all the time and we're trying to improve them. Here are some examples. There are also some characters that don't belong to the foundation. They appear mostly in the prologue, which takes place before Nathan uh, gets to the side phoenix. Welcome in the heavy containment zone. This place is used for containing most of the SCPs in the Side Phoenix. Especially these dangerous ones. You know, you helped us make this location for our Discord server. I really like that and I'm sure that in the future I will continue asking you about the look of the locations with more for you to decide than just colors. But anyway. Getting quite dark in here. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Um, no, 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 no. I'm not getting there. It's it's freaking pitch black. No, no way I'm getting there. But is there anything other in here? What the...
Okay, that's all for today. That is also the last devlog in this year. We want to prepare something special for you for Christmas, but we'll see. We also want to plan what's to come in 2023. Let us know what do you think about everything we've presented here today. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much for your attention and see ya.